Well, hello Trek Maniacs. Today we're looking at item that exchange and I was bored so I went in there, sorted all the sets there are by likes. By the way, item.exchange is a site where people can upload their custom block creations and you can download them to use them in your map. And I went in there and just downloaded a few which looked interesting to me and played around with them in the editor to see what they're like and that's what I want to show you today. And yes, I have found a old webcam lying around. So now you can see my face. Okay, let's jump into the editor. The first set I was looking at was made by Terror. It is called Dirt Hill and it is split into several sets because it's extremely massive and consists of, I don't know, over 200, maybe 300 pieces. And you've probably seen them. They are these more narrow dirt roads used in some of the track of the days. And they're really cool, very versatile. If you want to make a valley feel dirt um, dirt level dirt map these are great by the way if you don't know how to use custom blocks check the video which will pop up right now second set was made by effect and is also concerning dirt he remade the trackmania 2 dirt and it's quite convincing only issue or it co could also be a positive sometimes you have to piece the single pieces together which gives you more freedom but will also be a little bit more work nonetheless very nice pieces next i've checked out the magnet platform pack by entity you might have seen those as well if you play track of the day it's a pretty big pack of all the major road pieces or platform pieces where you will stick to and not fall down because they are magnetic. Then somewhere in here I have used some ground transitions by Ibo. I have skipped some of the scenery custom block sets and downloaded one of the platform extension sets made by R Xilox. He's made many and basically those are all the blocks you can imagine with different torques and different tilts and whatnot. And I've just picked one where it goes from a tilted platform into a wall ride. Those are the pieces I have also used in Paradise, the TMGL map. Next one, looking very interesting, the 2020 roller coaster pack by Slayer. Are uh, these black and red pieces, very roller coaster looking like, and they're also magnetic. In the end, I've made some scaffolding, so it will look more like a roller coaster, and I think. With enough time you can make a really cool track with those, but they're very tough to drive, so um, maybe you should keep it simple while mapping those. Keep the speed in mind, because the, the pieces are very narrow and you quickly bump into a wall. There's many more, but the last one I picked was the Corkscrew Pack by Nin, where he made pieces to form corkscrews for all platforms and all roads. Okay, that was me speed mapping these. So now let's have a look at me driving through those. I've quickly stitched together the parts where I tried them out to make one big map. And we will have a look at the replay now. <laughs> Tonight. 
If you think you've made a cool map with any of these custom blocks, please send it to me. You can send it to me through YouTube comments or also through my Discord, which is which I just newly created. Also, you should check my last video about the Icefall campaign I've made because you can win three years of Club Edition by just commenting on that video. That was it. I hope you liked this quick dive into some of the block sets. Leave me a comment and tell me which custom blocks are your favorite. Subscribe and we'll see each other next time. Goodbye. Better off. I'm gonna find my way tonight. Way tonight.